This is my lactate pill because Brooklyn <laughs> gave me everything dairy. <laughs> Hi Vogue, it's Brooklyn, and today I'm going to be cooking for my fiance Nicola. I'm going to be making a pasta dish in this giant cheese wheel. It's actually the first time I'll be opening the cheese wheel, so hopefully it goes to plan. I'm going to try and impress us today, you know, try and do something cute and romantic. Let's get into it. I'm going to start off by making my pasta dish, and the first thing you have to do is I'm going to start by cutting the cheese. Bloody heavy this thing, isn't it? I started cooking um, through quarantine. It was something that I did every day. Had a glass of wine, cooked for my fiance. So now I'm gonna use a cheese wedge. You hear that? Uh, I just heard like a little pop. So that means, you know, the cracking process has actually begun, which is a good sign. My dad in England, he always had them in his wine cellar. So I've always been really curious of how to open one. Getting the sweat on. <laughs> almost there. Hopefully this goes to plan. I'm almost around the whole thing. It's up. A bit harder than I expected. Am I all the way around yet? I'm like properly sweating. Can you see it on camera? I'm like <laughs> dripping. <laughs> it's hot in here, no? The video was made it look a lot easier than it is. It's so close. Do you see it opening? Bad that actually. There it is, half an hour later. Bit of a workout, but yeah, it went well. The second step is I'm gonna make a well, like a little dip in the middle. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. I love cheese. It's like butter. So I'm just about finished with the well in the middle. I'm gonna set the wheel aside and I'm gonna start on my pasta. I use Tipo flour. I add three egg yolks, two normal eggs, a bit of salt, and a bit of oil. Can I wash my hands quickly? My little sister is 100% the harshest critic in my family, by far. That's usually my dad who likes to try all my stuff that I cook. My mum cooks a lot more than my dad. Uh, sorry, the opposite. Uh, my dad cooks a lot more than my mum. My mum just likes to eat. I am starting to basically massage the dough. The consistency that you want is, you know, when you poke it, it starts to like bounce back a little bit at you. Right, so I'm just going to make this into a nice ball, uh, put it in the fridge for about 25 to 30 minutes before I start cutting it, rolling it, making my pasta. It's been resting for about half an hour, and now I'm going to do half of it. it. Smells so good. I'm just putting some flour on so now it doesn't stick to this. We are putting it through the pasta wheel, but just to help it, we are rolling it out a bit thinner. I love this pasta maker. I've had it for a while. With pasta makers, you're not supposed to wash it. Never wash it, because once you wash it, it's really messed up. You start on number zero, and you just start to... And I usually put it through about three times each number. So that's how thin I like it. So after you're happy with the thickness of it, you add this on, which is gonna finish and make it your tagliatelle. So I got all my tagliatelle all ready to be boiled. So now I'm gonna start making uh, the sauce for my pasta. I'm gonna keep it really simple. So you start off with a cast iron skillet, the best pan that you can get. You let it heat up before you put your oil on there. And now once your oil's all heated up, you put some garlic. And as soon as I add it, I'm gonna turn it off because you don't wanna burn your garlic. Let that cook. The reason why I love fresh pasta is because it only takes between two to three minutes. Now it's time to bring back our beautiful cheese wheel. Add in the white wine. You want to make a nice little puddle. And now I'm going to light it on fire. We're going to start moving it all around the sides to get ready to drop our pasta in. I don't usually use a torch in my cooking. It's not my first time I've used one but first time that I've done it on camera. 
The heat from the pasta and the bit of the pasta water will also help melt the cheese. And now I'm gonna put this garlic oil back in. It smells so good. The garlic, the cooked garlic, smells so good. It's so good. So I think it's missing a bit of salt and a bit of cream. As I'm twisting it and turning it, I'm also scraping a bit more cheese off as I go. I'm also gonna add a tiny bit of butter, because why not? That is a tiny bit, isn't it? And I think the only thing it's missing now is a bit of parsley. Wow. Good. I think she's gonna be impressed. I think she's gonna be impressed when she sees the big cheese. Hopefully she likes it. I love it, but hopefully she does. It's so cute. I have no idea what Brooklyn cooked for me. He just told me to meet him here, and I'm really excited to see what he made. And now we're gonna make a broccolini. You add a little bit of oil to your cast iron skillet. I'm gonna add all of this, and it cooks really quickly. I love broccoli, broccolini, um, and all of that stuff. Tiny bit of salt. Ever since I've been going out with my fiance, I have been watching what I eat a little bit more. But you know, I do love a naughty meal every now and then. <laughs> bit of fast food. Growing up in England, there's not much eating healthy. Uh, there's always fish and chips, bangers and mash, you know, really unhealthy food, but great food. But I think like now that I live in the US, I am more aware of what I eat and what I put in my body. So I got a really nice sear on there. Now I'm just gonna present it really nice. Really simple. I'm gonna add a tiny bit more salt, a little bit of lemon. And then we have all this leftover cheese. So I'm actually just gonna add a few of these microgreens. It's a nice little extra touch to it. Um, so the broccolini is done, and now before we start eating dinner, I'm just going to quickly uh, make some pecan pies. I've got the dough all ready, now I just need to mix. The ingredients are chopped up pecans, white sugar, dark corn syrup, three eggs, two tablespoons of melted butter, and my favourite, some vanilla extract. As you can see, it's all really easy. You're not going to mix it too well, you just want to obviously break the yolks and then you wanna just nicely and really gently. So pecan pie is actually a proper American dish. I just, I love the flavors, I love pecans. It's really sweet, so if you don't like sweet, you might not like this. The food out in the US tastes so much different than what I'm used to and what I grew up having in the UK. I'm not really a big fan of pies. The only pie I absolutely love is a pecan pie. So hopefully my fiance likes it as much as I do. So I've already got my pie crust ready. Now I just need to very gently scoop in the middle bit. Now I'm just gonna bang these in the oven quickly. And while those are baking for half an hour, I'm gonna go and bring the pasta out to my fiance and see what she thinks. Oh my God. <laughs> that looks amazing. You should have seen the process. <laughs> I am really nervous. What? I'm really nervous. I made it all from scratch. Oh my god. It's really good. Really good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Can you try the really broccolini? Good. No, Brooklyn, that is really, really good. Wow. Promise? Wait, I want to see this cheese ball. It weighs 8, 90 pounds. What? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Like is that a little... fact or is that a Brooklyn fact? Promise you, in between 80 to 90 pounds. I remember the first thing you cooked for me was, was it? it was in London and we needed to go grocery <laughs> shopping, but there were only like eggs and then peppers. So no. you ended up making me like scrambled eggs and then you cooked the peppers. Simple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually met two years ago at no, we Halloween. we met five years ago. Sorry. Get with Sorry. it, Franklin. So we met five years ago um, and we were just friends. Like we hung out sometimes, um, but we actually started dating two years ago. And our first date, it was raining in London and we were just wandering around the streets really late at night. And we found this random pub, like bar, underground pub. 
um, which was really cool. We went and had a few drinks there. We stayed there for a while, but that was, I think, like one of the first. One of the first dates, yeah. One of the yeah. first dates. But we never went on a proper like restaurant. Our favorite thing is staying in with face masks. Yes, it truly is. And, um, and pajamas. Yeah. That's our favorite thing to do. So growing up in my family, growing up in England, like um, when it was dinner time, there was it was a very strict no TV, no phone uh, type of rule. So I grew up in a household that is different from Brooklyn's. I have six brothers, a sister. So much is going on. Her dad Nelson, who's the most loveliest man, uh, he watches ice hockey. He's a big ice hockey fan, so he plays it on like full volume. So it's you know very different from yeah, how how very I. <laughs> You did a really beautiful job. It was amazing. It really, really is very yummy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I made you a pecan pie as well. Oh, wow. That's Which exciting. you know is my favorite. Yes. Oh, Look wow. That. Look at that. <laughs> uh, just a bit of powdered sugar. I love a bit of powdered sugar. Oh. That is so cute. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. Mm. Hold on. Oh god. That it's looks really so good. good. Oh my god. That is actually dangerous. Oh my god, Brooklyn. Well she knows I hate pies. Most pies. Yeah. I hate cake. I don't like I don't like much sugar stuff, but this I is have the, the one thing. Cheese. What are each other's guilty pleasure of food Three, two, one. Fries. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is the lamest thing ever. <laughs> and it's not fries, it's chips. But she was right. Fries. She is, is right? right. She is right. He has never made a pie for me before, so I am very blown away. He killed it. Part of the reason why I love her so much is because she's really honest with me. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with how it went. It's really cute. Thank, Thank you. you. Of course. Thanks, I'm very baby. proud of you. I ran in for it. <laughs>